size rock here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, look. What's good, everybody? This is my second attempt at the trip to Tennessee. I'm gonna try to find my targets this trip. If you haven't seen the last video, go back and watch it, go do it. There's a lot of cool stuff in there, including humongous record setting rat snakes. This trip, the same type of deal as the last one. This time, I'm gonna find my goals. This is what we're looking for. We're gonna stay there until we find one. Uh, this is gonna be the last video before our big trip out west, so wish us luck and uh, see you soon. Is that a ninja? A nice young, actually kind of good size, uh, for the ring neck. I'll put the rock back and see if we can slide it back under here. Go under there. Go. There you go. There's one snake. Where is he? Oh yeah. Teeny weeny. Teeny weeny Easter fence. Yeah. Well, they're finding similar stuff they found last time. <laughs> cool. Squish them. Squish them? No, don't squish them. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just take that. Yeah, do exactly that. Here you go. Okay. There you go. <laughs> it's nice in the sun. So it'll warm itself up. I don't really know if these guys ever really get old. I don't know. They're beautiful, though. Super common up here in the glades. Check it out. There's a good size skink right here. It's a big female. She might even be grabbing. See you later, buddy. Here's our second ring neck for the day. Flipped under a rock, and I am just gonna leave them here and set the rock back down very, very lightly. We got a nice male five line skink. See the little red for his breeding coloration. All right, we've got another rock, a double flip skink, ring neck, and a ring neck shed, but my, my shadow is on it. There's a ring neck shed right there. It looks like he just shed. These guys have moved a little bit, so I'm gonna have to move them out. No, you gotta get out of here. Like, out, out. Okay. Alright, so anyway, we have... <laughs> we just flipped this. I didn't record because I thought it was recording, and it didn't record. But we did just flip a nice eastern milk snake under that rock right here. Fortunately, it's in shed right now. But there we go. Eastern milk. We got one of our goals. Next goal is black king snake. Let's hope that we can get that today as well. But this is really nice. Got the photos I wanted of this guy. Now I'm gonna put him back under his rock where I found him and let him go. Let him go on his way. Hopefully he'll go right back under. Where is he? There he goes. Okay, so we learned this is a Tennessee potato root, right? Nashville bread root. Or, oh, <laughs> I said potato root. <laughs> this is, we learned this is a Nashville bread root and apparently you can dig up the tuber and eat it and I guess, does it taste like bread? <laughs> Either way, it's edible. Here we go. Some Santeria stuff going on here in the woods. I don't know about all this, so I'll head back this way. Hey. Hello. What's under that rock? There's acorns under that rock. Oh, 
don't think we clipped this rock yet. Oh, that's the reason why we didn't. Did you get that one yet? <laughs> I got it. Oh man, I was so close. All right, southeastern crown snake. Pretty cool. All right, this this is the first snake for this area. Uh, haven't seen one of these yet. Flip a lot of these in North Florida. Never flipped one up here. These rocks are really in the sun here. These might be okay. These are kind of small. Good size rock here. Oh, hey, 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 Black King. Check it out, man. Goal acquired. So if you go south and east of here, you'll start getting into snakes that look like Eastern Kings. And they'll have some banding and uh, maybe a little more speckling, but a higher band count. And if you go west of here, you get a lot more speckling. And, or actually south and west. And you look like speckle kings. But around here... You get nearly pure looking black kings. He's really just kind of looking for holes to dig his head into, trying to find a rock maybe or some other kind of crevice to get into. Wow. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh. Fuck me. He found a hole. <laughs> he found a hole. I can't believe you found a hole. Now there's a lot of perfect looking, um, si good size. Look at this rock right here. Another good sized rock right here. I mean, this stuff looks so good. It'd be a lot better if something was under it. Uh, it's really kind of hard to maneuver in here. Hey, look, in situ, there you go. Young milk snake, check that out, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Second milk snake for the day, young one. A little better coloring, I think he's still in shed, but we're gonna get him out in the light here in a minute. All right, in situ flip, let's see what else we can find. There's a good rock there. I don't know if I can flip this or not. No, that's gonna have to. Yeah, I gotta get this back somehow. The way it was. There we go. Uh, a couple more rocks in here that look decent. There's a rock on top of a rock. Nothing under that. There's a monster rock. I don't know, man. This looks like a this looks like a slip disc rock right here. Yeah, I'm not flipping that one. Poison ivy, a poison ivy 
forest. I'm not seeing a lot of other rocks in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hike back out the way I came and maybe see if I missed any rocks on the left side. Wait, this is my other left. This left. Ah, oh, millipede. Ah. Flip that rock. That one looks really good. It had nothing under it. I flipped all these rocks up here, even though they look fantastic. That rock right there looked really good, especially. Um, but nothing under that. Let's see. Oh, nothing there. What do you say? Anything? Taking bets? You lost or you won, depending which way you bet. Okay. Nope. All right, we're gonna try somewhere else here in a minute. I'm gonna take a car ride. All right, guys, I just flipped this ring neck, which is the ring neck I flipped last time in the video, and it was in shed. Now he's less sheddy and more pretty. And uh, he's leaving again under the same rock that I flipped him under last time. Cool. Number two. <laughs> there you go. This one's also in shed. Looks like a little bit, uh, got a little bit of scarring on the head. He's shaking his tail. Look at his tail. Oh yeah, you're rattly. You're a rattlesnake. Yes, you are. Yeah, he's slightly in shed, but a nice animal. A little more speckling on this one. See it? Nice. Yeah. All right, Lindsay with the king. Okay. With the black king. We done did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. We done did it. It's our second black king of the day. It's a nice female. We're gonna put her back under a rock right now. I didn't even take a picture of her because she's really, really deep in shed. So I'm gonna release him right now. Back under the rock where we found her. Hopefully she'll go under the rock. He's making her way under there. It's actually not the rock I found her under, it's the adjacent rock. I found her under that one, but that's okay. Wherever she wants to hide, fine by me. And there she goes. Okay, two kings. We're gonna keep flipping a couple of these rocks right here so we can find another one. looks really good. Oh, there's, all, there's also a uh, another green tiger beetle on it. See him running across the top? There you go. Hey, can I, can I flip your rock? <laughs> it flew off. Nothing. This rock is nada. There's a rock right here. It looks kind of nice. It's sort of half in shade, half out, and there's ants under it. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, so oh, it's just just uh, we're walking this, and we found a black rat. Just stumbled upon this black rat hanging out here on the side of the trail. And this is uh, kind of like an intermediate looking black rat, kind of gray rat thing. Yeah. 
He's not even moving. Hey, he moved a little bit. <laughs> cool. Oh, okay. Okay, he's a. He see me now. <laughs> I love rat snakes. Look at that attitude. <laughs> you invite my lens? You look like you're gonna invite me. Yeah, you're not gonna invite me. You know what? I'm just gonna let you sit here. I'm gonna leave you alone. Does that sound good to you? All right, sounds good to me. See you later, buddy. Something else? That's what, like our six species of maybe seven, eight? I don't know how many species of snake. We'll count them out later. All right, here's some of the habitat we're hiking. As you can see, it's pretty open and lots of rocks, kind of a glade habitat. Rocks everywhere scattered, exposed bedrock. Pretty nice little habitat. With the rocks go lower. This one's on rock. Oh, someone moved that rock. You can see the gap. I'm gonna put it back where it was. Some of these rocks are really too small, I think. The thing is, people come up here and they stack. As you can see, like they put them where they're not supposed to be. And they start stacking rocks, like making these like intricate. I don't know what they are. I guess you can call it stupid art. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Another little baby Eastern milk. I have more like a red milk here. Can you hold this rock up for a second? Oh my God, he's not in shed either. Beautiful. Look at that. This is what, the third, this is the third king, oh, sorry. This is the third milk today. And this is the prettiest one because it's not in shed. It's beautiful, wow. That rock next to it didn't have anything. That's pretty much how it works out to be. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. Uh, I know we had some focusing issues there. I'm still working out this camera and all its doohickeys in it. I accidentally hit the manual focus, so that's why a lot of this stuff is looking like it's out of focus, because it was. I also missed a big, huge racer that I flipped, and I flipped it in the video I thought I did, and I didn't hit record, so. Anyway, I got it all dialed in now. Stick with me, it's getting better. I'm gonna get better, it's gonna be better, it's all gonna be good. And uh, if you like it, and continue to like it. Hit the subscribe button. It always helps. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.